Hey everybody and welcome back for another video where in today's video I'm finally going to paint the rabbit enclosure. I've been putting this off and putting it off kind of trying to catch up with my motivation now following the uh, the burst of work that I had to do to get everything ready for the bunnies. So now it's more into the tidying up and uh, small jobs section. So uh, anyways we got a blistering hot day, 23 degrees right now in the afternoon. So here I am with my painting clothes on and I could definitely do with shorts instead of these pants but you know I don't want to get my shorts full of paint when uh, I got these old track pants ready to rock. So. I'll be wearing this and uh, and this old shirt. So if you see me caked in sweat later in the video, please <laughs> try not to criticize too much. It is sweltering here, and obviously sweating is a natural part of our body behavior. So I uh, will not be embarrassed by sweating here today because it is ripe to uh, to cause that. <laughs> All right, so with that said, I'm gonna be painting the outside of this uh, firecracker red, uh, same as what I did with the chicken coop. And that's the Bear brand name of paint uh, that had the firecracker red color, in case you wanna duplicate this. And down the line, we'll be probably putting on some white trim and all that stuff. And, uh, and we'll see where this progresses color-wise. But for now, I just wanna get this plywood coated over with a good coating of red uh, just to keep the weather and elements off of it and give a little more finished look to the enclosure here in the backyard. Alright, so with that said, we'll get ready to do some painting. Uh, got my little miss and little mister here today and uh, my little miss wanted to share with you what kind of craft she's been doing lately. Um, so I have like an art kit and I had some broken earrings so I had the back of them and I put some like a little charm on them that had a hole in it and then I put them in an earring. Can I tell them something? Sure. So one time in Mario Odyssey I got to 9,999 coins. He did. In Mario Odyssey on the Switch he got 9,999 coins. And that's as high as you can go. And that's as high as you can go. And this little lady is uh, seven years old and already creating her own earring designs. So. Uh, so we're having lots of fun off camera, you know, we're, we're trying to share with you everything we can. Uh, but some, some things just don't get captured, and that's okay, so the kids are here to share their accomplishments with you guys today. And uh, with all that said, let's get to prepping the paint trays and brushes, and uh, I'll start getting this thing painted. It shouldn't be much of a job, it's only, like I say, four sheets of plywood. Uh, main thing is just going to be cutting in around the top roofing there. Not that I'm overly worried about that edge trim getting some paint on it, but I'm going to try and be a little bit precise with it. Alright, so a few little breezes here and there may uh, interfere with audio at times, but I think we're pretty calm here now to be talking to you guys outdoors and get this video to a rolling start. So let's uh, let's do the paint prep and then get into some painting itself. Can let's go. Another thing? Oh, Mr. Man wants to say one more thing. One the the suit cost nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine coins for one single suit. Do you remember the name of that suit? It's the skeleton suit. The skeleton suit. So the skeleton suit cost every coin that he had that nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine uh, coins. Yeah. yeah. And is that a boss suit? Oh no. That's not a boss suit, but it's an expensive suit. And it don't match anything. It doesn't match anything, which is perfectly fine. And uh, is that everything? Yeah. I might sell. I might go to like a store and I might buy just packs of two earrings and like um, this part of it. Yeah. Um, and I might make someone sell them. Wow. All right, folks. Off to the painting we go. Come along. Let's see how this goes. All righty. So to get started, I'm going to get this paint opened up here. I've given it a good shake off camera and it hasn't been used since I... Uh, painted the chicken coop so hopefully this paint is in good enough shape to use here today we're not going to be too particular about it if there's any clumps and stuff I can just pick those out maybe but it's looking good so far pretty thick stuff 
Alright, so let's uh, get some in this container just to use with our brush. Just enough to cut in the edges. Alright, so I'll lay this aside. Put the cover back on it. Alright, so there we go. Hopefully that'll be enough to cut in around the, uh, the roofing. And everything else after that should be rolling. Got myself a few new brushes from Costco. We'll see how they are. I think they're just synthetic fiber. I'm not 100% sure on that. And this is a 2 inch. Alright, in case, in case that matters to you. As for me, I just chose the middle size brush. And it has a little bit of a cut in tip on it, a little bit of a slant, but not, not a lot. Alright, so I haven't even started yet and I'm getting paint on my fingers. I was going to wear some nitrile gloves, but I bought mediums and with the humidity today, they will just not go on. So <laughs> I could be clean and paint off my hands later, which is perfectly fine. So alright, let's, let's try, start cutting in.
All right. So for the most part, that's cut in now. As much cutting in as I'm going to do, at least. I'm going to do the rest with the roller. Now, being plywood itself, with all the extra surface area of all the grooves and everything, is is going to take up more paint um, than I probably would hope for. And I got less than a gallon total paint. So hopefully I can get through these four sheets of plywood uh, plus an extra little bit there and uh, and end up with a nice coating before I run out of paint. Alright, so you've seen how much I put in this to begin cutting in. You can kind of see how much is left in there. So still a little bit extra. I'll scoop that out into the, uh, the roller tray. I don't want to miss a drop. So just in case. All right, so anyways, let's get into, uh, let's get into the rolling, I guess. That's where, uh, that's where we're really gonna find, find out how we're doing on paint quantity and supply. All right, so uh, that's it, let's go. So, so far, the plywood is absolutely drinking the paint. Uh, I don't think my half gallon is going to be enough at this point, but I'm going to keep pushing forward, see how far I get, and uh, see how far we can push this little bit of paint. But I am covering every bit of the wood. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing, you know, a halfway there job, we'll say. So, let's keep going.
Alright, so I'm getting pretty low on paint now. You see how much I got left there. So I'm going to try and scrape out every last bit I can out of the can there now. Good to the last drop. All right, so I'll lay all this aside. I'll get the roller again now, and we'll get back to it. Alright everybody, so that's going to conclude the painting part of today, but uh, I still got one thing in mind that I want to do, and that is a little shelf inside of the rabbit enclosure, because I got bales of hay, bags of food, stuff that I want to get out of the main garage, and more appropriately in the enclosure where it belongs. So I'm just going to try and do uh, just a rudimentary shelf with a couple of easy supports. I'm not even sure if I got the right wood down there to make it out of so uh, this will be uh, one of those things I don't even know yet if I got the materials required so if I got the materials I'll build it and uh, show you that on camera but otherwise if I don't have the materials I'll come back and clue up this video and we'll do that another day so I'll go have a check on my materials and be right back with you
Alrighty, so we are in the rabbit enclosure right now, finally out of the wind, able to tell you exactly what's been going on. Anyways, I managed to come up with enough pieces to make a shelf, as you saw me do, and I've made it a total width, or depth, if you want to call it, of 20 inches, and I've made it 54 and 3 quarters to match up with this header that we had put on, so it should fit properly between these two posts. All right. So that's the idea. I've got my screws at the ready. But basically I'm going to try and tack it onto the two posts as well as this support joiner here. And hopefully that'll be enough support just to keep it there while I make some angled braces to go down below. Because I want this to be able to hold, you know, in upwards of 100 to 150 pounds. So uh, we do need a decent amount of support in there. So, what I need to do now is figure out a height. Now, I'm not sure if I even brought my tape measure in with me. But basically I just want, you know, at least 18 inches of height. That's the size of a hay bale that I have. So if I could do like 20 down. So I could use the shelf itself to measure the 20 down. Assuming it fits in between properly which it does. So with that up there, I'm just going to take a screw and mark 20 inches. Let's get that where we want it. The struggle is real. That's a start. Yeah, it's probably not going to be enough with that wall alone to support this. I probably should have brought a stick of some kind to hold up the end of it. Although, no hands. Could be a bad mistake, we'll see. Alright, that's going to stay up there for now. Doesn't, it's not exactly level, but it's within the middle bubble. It's just favoring the right side a little. And over on this side, it's doing the opposite. So we're golden. Alright, so with that said, I'm going to go grab some bracing and figure out exactly how I'm going to get that put on here. Because it's a little bit different than what I had planned. I may, if possible, I may brace upwards to the ceiling. Probably give me my best strength option. I'll figure that out. We'll be right back. You'll see what I do. And that should be it. I'll get some stuff moved up here and put on it then. So what I've decided to do is use plywood to create a little wall here and attach it to the roof beam. And that roof beam is actually right in the center on the main uh, middle post. So it should have good strength in it. The only catch is that I'm in here to, in the enclosure with the rabbits. So they're likely not going to like this too much. And hopefully it doesn't start any of them into a heart attack or something, but, you know, stranger things have happened. So, hopefully these bunnies don't get a face full of sawdust in a second.
likely a bit scary for the bunnies. It is what it is. But I still got one more cut to make. Because although the shelf is 20 inches wide, my support is going to bring up in this post here. So I need to take off 2 inches for that. It's 18 inches working surface is what I'm going to be left with. And then this will go up here like that. Alright, now uh, there, like that. So I need to take 2 inches off. Now, for anyone out there who's thinking that this is animal cruelty, sign uh, a skill sign next to with them. There's no hearing protection here, alright? I'm, I'm suffering just as much as they are. Their ears might be a little more sensitive than mine. I've blown my ears over the years. Anyways, we've got one more cut to make here now. It's a bit of a longer cut than the last. And uh, that should be the last one then. Four bunnies in the corner. Oh, the other one's underneath the chair. Okay, so with that cut made, I'm gonna put this side to the end. All right, now you should be able to see the idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. What I'm going to do next is whack a load of glue on the side of this, get some screws ready. in place like that. Now I'm going to get a couple put in the ceiling and then for the bottom before I screw it in I'm going to level it as all the glue drips on my hands. four in the top one, that should be enough. So now, my level and a screw ready. And now I will get this up to snuff. So I'm just lifting it kind of gently. There we are. Screw this in the rest of the way. All right, that looks good to me. This inside could definitely use a brace of some kind. I don't think I'd do another plywood brace. Probably just use a 2x4 underneath it, which I have right here. I'll have a, have a look at this now and see what's most appropriate for it. So getting the angles correct. Whereas if I did a 2x4 brace to the ceiling again, that could work.
And I believe that's what I'm going to do, just to keep bracing and that added away from the bottom. temporary screw in the top of this so I can get my measurements. Okay. So, one cut to make. And now, as we like to do here, let's glue and screw. So I marked the two sides of my 2x4 on the ceiling there. So that leaves me with a good spot of reference to just throw this back up. Like that. Between those two lines, and I know then that I'm in a good spot. I'll even reuse the hole that I used for the test fit. And now, all I gotta do is bring the shelf up level with the bottom end that I marked. There we are. Looking level, looking good. Rabbits seem to be getting used to the noise. They're not running away when I'm using my screwdriver now. My drill. So yeah, this this uh, shelf definitely took on a form that I wasn't planning on. I had initially planned on an open shelf with bracing coming up from the bottom, but I'm quite happy with how this is turning out. All right, and you notice these these ribs here. These aren't necessarily much in the way of structure as, uh, as it could be if I put little, a little front brace right across four of them and onto the sides holding things up. So that's what I will be doing. I'll get one final piece of 2x4 and make a front lip and that will close all that in. Okay, and I'll bring the front lip up. I may even bring it up even with the plywood. It's not a big deal. All right, so shelf is done, outside paint is done, and uh, I'm done for the day. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. As usual, uh, subscribe, like the video, ring notification bell, all that stuff helps this channel to grow. And, uh, and I really appreciate you guys. There's more and more subscribers every month. There's more views. And uh, you guys are awesome, so I appreciate you coming by and liking this content enough to stick around. And hopefully you continue to do so. And uh, that's going to clue us up for today. So until next video, hope you're happy, hope you're healthy, take care of each other, and peace out.